Hey everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Chaco Single Player. This is some more Dominions 5, Episode 8. Fucking... Okay, yeah, no, the, the AI Atlantis has fully, fully attacked us. I guess we were at war with them earlier. You know what it was? I bet it, I bet you it's the, the hidden at war tag. Um, we probably control a province that they once controlled. So they don't have to, that doing that means we are automatically at war with them. Good stuff. So great. Now we have to defend ourselves from Saramacia or Ur, Atlantis, Albion. All right, cool. Voice of Absu, Horuspex, Auspex, Augury, Augury, Gnome Lore. That's kind of fucking abysmal. Holy shit, we are... N I have I have the freaking magic sites turned up to maximum. We are really unlucky. Alright, Shorty's Gambit. This is going to be nothing because we, we left one PD there. We attacked in Saramacia. This could be a very big deal. Oh, a bunch of Hydras. Hydras are going to be bad news bears for our Katsina Warriors. A lot of attacks, but also those Poison Clouds are going to Shrek us. We have Regeneration, so we can kind of fight back somewhat. But it's going to be rough. Yeah, we win, but we lost a lot here. Ugh, regen countering the poison as best it can. We lost eight. Oof, that's our worst kind of ratio yet against Saramacia. Okay, we get attacked in Oleg Heights. Which is whatever. Uh, <laughs> okay. He's smart enough to attack me with very specific raiding parties, but dumb enough to just keep throwing his freaking random stacks against Albion. Fuck off, game. And then we get hit in second A's Vista. Decently large little army. Nothing there. We attack into Sabout's Cavern. Um, and there is significantly less to deal with here this time around. No... Azure Mages. Oh, right. We need to put Strength of Gaia into our script. That's my bad. Need to do that this turn. Strength of Gaia on everyone. Strength of Gaia is way better than what we had been doing. Bang for bung. Sweet. All right. We win in Sabbath's Cavern. Unrest in the Nether Mines. Dominion in the Nether Mines. Minus Dominion in Darwin's End. There's a battle in the Nether Mines. We're definitely going to lose that. Again, one PD. Um, and discovered and attacked in Albion. Started to destroy the fort in Saramacia. Swank. Personal regeneration with strength of Gaia instead. Um, we already have that. That's cool. Oh wow, this guy is a rare guy. So this guy is a double water guy, which would be super rare and very coveted for us if we had not already got a random water two mage in. So, uh, we don't have to worry about that too terribly much. Which is good, because I need to not have to worry about that right now. I need to attack. Let's do closest matter, I think. Personal regeneration with strength of guy here. And actually time to mess with this a bit. It's like probably just power. This guy needs a summon earth power and then can kind of do whatever. 
I think. You know, like temper armor at that point is fine. Um, our god needs to do a strength of Gaia, and I think also a summon Earth power. Oh, uh, can do a torch item yeah, and a resilience. Yeah, can do. So wheat, torch, amulet of resilience. We'll put that on our god to give him some uh, reinvigoration. And with summon earth power, he should actually be pretty okay. Oh, by pretty okay, I mean fatigue neutral. <laughs> Fuck, words are hard, man. 124. This will take at least two more turns. I don't know that we're going to have that as an opportunity, but we'll see. AI is such a fucking bitch. I see that, but we could actually do a little fires from afar just to fuck with Oh, did we stop? We did stop because the only air that we have is this guy and we're trying to get more air. Gotcha. Arcane probing. Uh, this we will do quite a bit of. Arcane probing. Arcane probing. Till we are done. Search. Search. Okay, how's that work for us? It's fine. I think if a if Atlanta keeps pressuring us really bad, then we're probably screwed. We just we've been contained for so long. Albion, Earth, now Sarmatia, now Atlantis. Um, we haven't been able to actually benefit from any of our victories. Starlet Pond, very cool. Augury nothing, Auspex nothing, no more nothing, Augury nothing. Voice of Apsu, Garden of Frozen Gold Flowers. That's another plus one. And then the Starlet Pond is a plus one Astral Pearl. So, uh, we get a battle in Sloth Meadows. Of course. Okay. Um, we get attacked in Sarmatia. Might actually be worthwhile to just do a box and hold an attack because part of what we're losing are these little wings that get all off on their own. Um, although they're seemingly doing just fine. My god, Katsina are kind of crazy. They're just so expensive. They're crazy against AI, right? That's the thing, I think. They're crazy against AI and unprepared players. But prepare, prepared players can just destroy them. All right, we're good there. Um, Sabout's Cavern has been conquered by... What? Why is... I guess I'm just at war with the whole fucking map at this point. <laughs> oh, 
I'm legit. I'm just at war with the whole fucking map at this point. That's that is what is happening. Fucking Ubar just attacks me randomly. Like, okay. We get attacked in Nether Mines. Well, Independents <laughs> get attacked in Nether Mines, and then we attack in Nether Mines and win. And we get attacked in Jacinka's Oasis. Um, Jacinka's Oasis. Oh, he, wow. He he moved there and got demolished because these, these armies combined. He would have got demolished regardless, but he had the bigger army, so he had priority on movement. Unexpected event in Blow Axe. Cool. I like that we're continuously getting that. Walls are damaged in Sloth Meadow, so that's no bueno. Start to destroy Sarmatia, that is bueno. I have to just cut our losses and retreat from nether mines. Single point there. Eleven units and twelve units. Like a bugging plan. I'm gonna split. I need to be pressuring Ur and Saramacia while I can. I want to go ahead and do that. Um, how close are we? We're far away from construction six. But when we get construction six, right? Um, I say when we get construction six, but honestly, I throw out a couple Here or there, I can just make another Kithrionic line pelt and start sending like Itoto and Uyingua out. I'm gonna do that. I need more. Um, I need more raiders, basically. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and make two of these this turn. Um, Itoto can pick his up in Blow Axe, but otherwise, pick his up. Otherwise, he's fine to move. Um, underwater breathing might not be enough to survive. We get a monk at Cena over here. I could forge a fish scale mail. Right. Liquid body is kind of bad for us, though, actually. Could just do a ring of water breathing instead. Pretty easy. Um, don't need to do that yet, though. It's going to take two to get this. All right. Fine. Um... I think we're going to sit on Augury for now. Another... Oh, yoy, yoy. Okay. Sure. See how this goes. Yeah, I think we're fine. We've got we've to gotta spread out, start using Monkatsinas. Obviously, once we get to Construction 6, we're going to be in a better, better state there because just a little bit of gear like Armor of the Knights and stuff like that can really make our, our units very strong. Again, especially against the AI. Ospex, Sky Split Oak. Hell yeah. Up to three air gems, finally. Arcane Probing found nothing. No more. Arcane Probing found nothing. Augury found a Tar Pits. Tar Pits is just plus one fire, but that's nice. Um, Voice of Apsu found nothing. Another Arcane Probing found an unfound door. That is nice. And another Augury found nothing. Um. Okay, so we attacked in Shattered Nap. 
win there. We attacked in Sakane's Vista, win there. Uh, we attacked in Light Hills, and win there. Light Hills province. Ah, gotcha. So that was a mercenary group. Kind of, kind of lucky that we won that. Actually, I think we had a fair chance of losing it, guys. Yeah, they're undead, so... Well, they still have low magic resistance. That's good. Never mind, I take back. Because it kind of just depends on what this guy has. But all he's doing is animating dead, so... Alright, cool. Um, and then we get attacked in Saramacia again. Motherfucker. That was interesting. That was that was super interesting on how that worked. All right, well, we slaughtered another frickin' army from Saramacia. Unexpected events in Justin Oasis. Good tax. Hey, we get a lightless lantern. Very nice. We lose another scout. We're under siege in Sloth Meadows, and our walls are damaged. And Saramacia has been breached. All right, cool. So we haven't been pushed further by Ubar. So that is good. Move back slightly. We move here. So we're moving off Anguso. <laughs> Are you going to attack me now, Arcosafale? Because that's going to be really shitty. I'm going to be really upset if that's what happens. Oh my god. Uh, we're taking off the holding attack. We're just going to attack rearmost. Uh, attack rearmost, storm castle, go. Control, defend, ooh, aha, pushed forward ever so slightly. Uh, research, he only has a few, and I think we actually want to hold those. So, go. Working on that. I do think it is worthwhile to go ahead and think that we are going to send... This monk at Sina into the water. So, um, a Toto here. Let's see. Might actually be the best thing that we've got. See how that goes? Off, a this off, search. I'm going to go ahead and save this as the Monk at Sina. One. See how that goes. Um, right. Here, here, here. Cool. Wait, we're going to forge a Ring of Water Breathing, and we're going to forge... A Ethrionic Lion Pelt for this guy. Um, these, this is the problem with Atlantis. These guys will kill the shit out of me. 
Um, Coral Guards are brutally savage and will kill the shit out of Ketsina. Um, if my Ketsina, if it's one to one, my Ketsina can win. But if it is, um, if the if the Coral Guard outnumber us, then uh, they will typically kill the shit out of us, which is really bad. Alrighty then. If search, search, different. Um, here. I guess we maybe want to send a. I don't want to do that. Well, yeah, sure. We'll we'll try to sneak someone into I I seen you before us. I can't believe we're we're getting pushed here. Ah, uh, I guess uh, fill on this and, and build a lab here because I would love to start getting some star priests up there. Okay. Good. Let's do it. We've gonna we're gonna have construction six in like five turns, four turns. Okay, uh, no more founds on Iron Cliff. Nothing with any of the rest of our stuff. Iron Cliffs. Just plus one Earth Gem. I like that. 100 gold per turn. That's not... That's real nice. Um, okay, we attacked into Overblessed Abbey. Ooh, okay, so this was the Monk Katina. Let's see how this actually performs in battle. Uh, up against pretty much nothing. Wolf Tribe, all of that's crap. The The issue here is these Hydras. They are slightly tanky. We don't do a lot of damage on our Mon Monkatsinas. And they have poison, which we are not very defended against. We do have regeneration, of course, but well, that's it. Iron Skin... Personal regeneration for armor. Wow, we just got lucky there, honestly. We probably would have died to those Hydra Hatchlings. That's pretty funny. Okay, we get attacked in Saramatia. Another freaking wall just moving forward. We should have this without much issue. And I, I can't imagine Saramisha has much left in the fortress. Uh, we attack into Sloth Meadows. This is pretty much nothing. Easy peasy. We attack into Fertile Page of Gaia. Now, this is a fair amount of units, and we are getting... Yeah, this guy's going to die. He did get Strength of Gaia up. He has 28 protection. So he's got a fair amount of... He breaks. Breaks almost immediately. What? Current morale is 12 because of the fear. Yeah, fear 5. So, yeah, he would normally have 18. But
but it's minus one puts him at seven, and then the fear puts him at twelve. Even then, though, like twelve morale, he just immediately broke. Uh, he's got multiple fear stacks around him. I don't know if that matters. So he's gonna route, which is unfortunate. Um, we absolutely would have killed killed these guys without much of an issue uh, if he had not routed. So flying is a big issue for us. Um, we still killed quite a bit of this. Retreat details. Okay, we, we successfully retreated, so that's good. Retreated to Overblessed Abbey. That's unexpected. And then a battle in the Fortress of Saramacia. So let's see how much he has left. He does not really have much of anything left. He does have his god here, though, of course. Um, this god is not a end-all, be-all, cannot-be-killed god, though. So that is good. Eyes of God. See how this goes. Being said, we don't have a lot here, so we don't have a lot of kill power. This is going to take a while. Which is bad, because this gives him a lot of time to fuck with us. This guy just fatigue out? No, not quite. Come on, kill some of these fucking things. Oh shit, that's an ass move. That one guy got destroyed, got deleted by the uh, the guard command. Well, oh, this guy's gonna get deleted too. Fuck. All these guys are fatigued out is the problem. Oh, well, that's bad. Yeah, that's real bad. We lose. Very surprising that these guys aren't fatigued out. Oh, they didn't, they didn't communion up or, well, they can't commune. They're just death mage once. No, take it back. So they are fatiguing out, but then they're just um, coming back. Is it the ghost grip that's, yeah, I think it's the ghost grip that's, uh, we'll look at that. Okay, we definitely lost that. There's no way we didn't lose that. We failed to capture the fortress and that's real bad. That is so many turns of power um, just lost. And we're never going to have great, I say never, uh, aside from summoning like a lot of great eagles or things like that, we're never going to have great siege abilities. So there's a lot to lose. This is really a lot to lose. That was very like very overzealous of me to do. But we did it. Okay. Gotcha. Did I retreat? What happened? Ooh, 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 ooh. We also died. Lost retreating into enemy territory. I didn't think about that. Ah, because the it, it's no longer cold, so our retreat to Icenu is is gone. Well, that's rough. Okay, um, we're going to bounce up here, see what we can do. Um, there's no way this guy can actually... Right? We're just suiciding him. There's no way... That, but... Well, he's not going to succeed against this unless he actually comes in and does something like poison resistance. Poison resistance. On. Uh, 
See how that goes. I don't see this going well, but... I can't, like, he, he's gonna be a bitch, he's gonna attack me over shit, and, you know, I'm gonna fucking... I try to jump him repeatedly. I think, actually, we just build a temple here, and we move and patrol into Icenu. Um, continue recruiting there, continue recruiting there, start recruiting here, put that back up to six. Reach here, and recruit, there we go. Alright, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna move here and we're gonna move. Ah! We freaking stupid river! Fine, whatever. Okay. We have a death gem somewhere. Ah, here in the gallows. Ooh, we can get ghosts. Cool. Um, well. Don't have enough for that. Cast a spell, augury. Cast a spell. Voice of Absu. Double sweet. Um, how many turns? At least four turns for construction six. Okay, we are auguried out interesting if that's the case you research and augury hmm uh yeah that should definitely be a thing oh that should also be a thing Get a Sun Priest. As soon as we hit um, Destruction <laughs> 6, we're going to put a Dwarven Hammer on that Sun Priest, and that guy's going to make Lightless Lanterns until the day he dies. Which maybe it won't take very long. <laughs> we'll see. Alright, that's the end of this turn. What are we doing after Construction 6? I think... I think after Construction 6, we might rush Enchantment and try to put up Gift of Health. Because uh, the way the AI is going to come at us constantly, it's going to be a never-ending, like, defensive war... Gift of Health is really going to give us an opportunity to survive that type of engagement. Wait, don't we uh, put up Mother Oak? <laughs> oh, right. We, our guy's already fucking horror marked. I forgot about that. Um, well, we need a Mother Oak boyo then. Um, we do not have access to a Tree Lord Staff. That would be the easiest way to do this right now. We also do not have access to any Lizard Shaman. 
That's what this place is supposed to be. Why am I only getting freaking those things? You guys are more. Uh, lizard shaman still isn't gonna be able to do that. I need a. Ah, uh, he can't. I don't have. A super secret. I don't have a super secret nature bower guy. Um, that's okay. We're moving towards things. We got plans. Job done. No more, nothing. Arcane probing one, nothing. Two, nothing. Augury found a bronze pillar. That's cool. Plus one fire gem. Nice. Absu found a singing stream. Plus two water and Baoban cheese. This is actually kind of a fucking clutch pickup. Um, obviously, we're happy to have double the amount of... Oh, no. That is not what I thought it was. I thought this was... What? What? Our... Oh, okay. Never mind. No. Um, I thought we were getting double the amount of air that we have, but that's not the case. Um, Alban cheese are still potentially pretty good for us, but less exciting. Still potentially good for us, but less exciting. Um... Auspex found an Eagle Tribe settlement, which I don't think is actually good at all. No, it's not. It's, it gives us Eagle Tribe. Yay! It's not good. And it's no gems. That's the sad part, is it's no freaking gems. Okay, great. Fantastic. We have access to Eagle Tribe Shamans now. Um, they are air ones and they are sacred, so I guess that's something, but I don't know what the fuck we would do for. Um, Arcane Probing 3, found nothing. Battle in Oleg Heights. Uh, that should be no problem. Battle in Fertile Page of Gaia. This should be a very big problem. See how it goes. All right, the poison resistance should keep us safe from the Hydra Hatchlings. And actually, at this point, probably what we're hoping is just to survive while the Hydra Hatchlings kill everything else. Honestly. The Hydra Hatchlings are already poisoning the shit out of everyone around us. Um, we are taking little ticks of damage here or there, but the regeneration is proven pretty okay for us. Um, the Hydra Hatchlings can't hurt us because of the poison resistance. And job done. Nice. Very exciting. Okay, so that's pretty good for us. We got attacked in the Overblessed Abbey. Um, we're gonna get Shrek here. Yeah, absolutely. These Hydras are bad news, and these uh, freaking ghosts are annoying enough to keep us focused on other shit. Now we killed a whole crap ton, but it was mostly fucking ghosts, so whatever, right? Like, that's not super helpful. But, is what it is. Lost six Katina warriors retreated successfully to the Fertile Page of Gaia. 
Uh, we attacked into the Depths of Demise. Now, this could still be very bad for us because this guy is not going to be good at fighting underwater. Triton have that weak poison, so he actually could fuck us. I did not think to put poison up there. Sleep Cloud? Oh, shit. Put a bunch of them to sleep. Interesting. Really bad um, skills fighting underwater, though. It just keeps sleep clouding randomly. <laughs> like, okay. Don't know that that's going to work out for us in the long That sleep cloud is not actually as helpful as we might want it to be. And casting spells actually at this point is not super useful. Unless those spell spells lead to deaths. Hmm. Unfortunate. Wow, this is the biggest wet noodle fight in the world. I don't want to watch this anymore. Uh, Depths of Demise. We are beaten by the defending forces because we can't actually kill anything. Retreat successfully. Okay, fine. Jordy's Gambit. In this one, though, we are on land. So we do have somewhat of an opportunity to... Recovers from fatigue at an unbelievable rate. That's pretty cool. I need to fix this script. I don't know why they're they have like he's gonna fatigue himself out casting spells rather than attacking. Just attack, my man. All right, here. Okay. We were beaten by the defending force. Uh, I gotta change that script. Low axe, dominion of growth. Cool. More population in Grievel's bog, and we had a wounded star priest. Let's do this before I forget. Not spells. Attack. Um, oof. Weakened and a limp. I might not succeed, period, now. But we might. This guy. Still might not succeed, but we might. These sons of bitches! We have such a madness on. That is not gonna do. Enlarge might actually help. Personal regen needs to be. Gaia, Timber Armor, Earth Power. I'm going to go attack the troglodytes and earth gnome like a dingus. I should not be doing this, mind you. Go do it, though. I feel Ala, shot Kala. Let's start putting poison resist into my normal every time I'm dealing with poison oh, it's for um every time i'm dealing with
Guard Commander. How about that? Definitely not perspiration. We want strength of Gaia. We want summon earth power. Kind of also want. Oh, baby. That's not great. Boss body is really nice, but in this case, I actually think we skip it and do. Poison resist. Cast spell, body ethereal. Luck. Roll. Roll patrol. Uh -uh. Okay, what are we doing now? What is happening? That's that is that what we're actually doing? Can't make one anyways again until we hit construction six. So it doesn't really matter. Might as well do that. Both of these are fine. I say that, but actually are Cast augury. Manually cast it. Chance craft. To move back out of Icenu. No. We'll hold here. Doifa, doifa. This is so freaking rough. I think part of the issue is is that um, we're just getting pulled apart from so many different sides. Okay, research goals. What are what are our actual plans right now? We are super high on water gems. Holy shit! Come on. Twenty one. Holy fuck balls! What can we do with? I mean, we've got a lot of stuff that we can do in the future. Um, Nyad Warriors is uh, something that comes to mind, but I don't know what ancient presence is. I've seen the Horde of Tiamat. I'm not super impressed. We could try to do the whole. Um, uh, what is it? Sea King's Court spam? Right? Until we <laughs> afford. We only need 20. 24 Sea Kings. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, Tribes of Yeti. I don't. See, the, a lot of this stuff I'm not familiar with from a DE perspective, so. Trolls, mud warriors, crabs. Getting up to like naiad warriors could be pretty strong for us. Obviously, we we restricted in what we can cast, but um ah, that's what this is. Brain making. Ten percent more tax contribution. Minus one heat scale in summer. There's no reason not to put this up in Chaco, is there? Sure as shit doesn't seem like a reason not to to me. 
rain making for twenty turns. Three hundred and forty five income. All right. There's so much there's so much stuff in DE, right? Okay, I think that's all we can really do this turn. Um, and good a time as any to go ahead and cut this particular video. If you're watching on Twitch, stick around. We're going to keep playing. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you back for more Chaco single player. Bye-bye, everybody.